And we've also improved the supercharging speed, so you can uh, get 187 miles of range in 15 minutes. We have an, an all-new battery pack. It's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating and freezing conditions. Model X, guys. I'm having the worst FOMO ever. At the same time, I'm like, should we sell our Model X? I am really seriously thinking about doing it. I can't believe I'm gonna be configuring a Rivian. Hey guys, Kim here. So we did not go to the Plaid event, but it definitely had a very big impact on me. Um, we were actually on vacation with our family and two days before the event, we got the invite, which really was not a time to change our vacation plans. Started thinking more and more about how I wanted the new Model X. And I decided, you know what, let me just put it out on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, this is why you need to be following me. And I said, anybody interested in buying our Model X? And we were just flooded with DMs about it. So I think we're selling, I think we're selling Moonwalker. How chic is this, right? Thank you. So I really thought that this Tesla would be our long-term Tesla. It has so many things that I've always wanted in a car, like ludicrous performance, FSD, free supercharging, and it has that awesome stealth wrap, ceramic coating, the cool chrome delete. But there are a few other EVs out there right now that I do want to take a deeper look at and maybe consider. I'm gonna share with you guys all the features, the price, and all the deets about it later in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that information if you are seriously interested. I will also be configuring the, my new car, whichever car that may be, later in this video. But first, I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Charity Stars. You guys might remember a few months ago, we teamed up with Charity Stars to give away a brand new Performance Model Y, and we've actually learned that one of you guys, a viewer out in Hawaii, was the winner of the Performance Model Y. So we've teamed up with Charity Stars again, but this time to give away a brand new Peloton Bike Quest bundle. I love Peloton. I've been using them for a while now. It's helped me lose the baby weight, and I love being able to work out in our home whenever I want to. If you're a fan of the tech inside Teslas and EVs, you'll also love the Peloton Bike Plus bundle with the swivel screen and all the fitness classes. Charity Stars is also including an Apple Series 6 watch and a Theragun Elite for those sore muscles after your workout. The best part is each donation gives you hundreds of entries to win, and the fundraiser supports the City of Hope, which is a nonprofit dedicated to making a difference in the lives of people with cancer, diabetes, and other serious illnesses. Check out charitystars.com slash Kim Java to enter, and thank you for your support. So one of the reasons why I love my Model X so much is because of the Falcon wings. You can see how tight our garage is. My husband has been trying to get me to get an Rivian. Today, I need to put our car seat into the Model 3 and test out driving around with all three kids in the Model 3 because we're gonna be driving this around for a little while. <laughs> all right, so here you can see tight garage. Putting kids in it would be impossible in any other car. I'm gonna take out the baby car seat, try it out in the other car. So I'm gonna actually, I think I'm gonna put her on this side though. <laughs> Here we go. The new Model X is not available until January of February of 2022. So we will have to go a good amount of time with just our Model 3 with three kids. Uh-oh, we have another another LaCroix drinker. Mmm, yum, so refreshing. Now for road trips, we'll have to get some sort of cargo carrier to go on top. I know, you want your drink. She's obsessed with the LaCroix. So you can probably hear how loud the kids are in the back. They just keep running their mouths like this over and over and over again. Another main reason for wanting the refresh Model X is because of all the glass technology with the soundproofing. Um, I love just having a quiet ride whenever possible. However, I wish they could add a piece of it right here. Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> Guys, be nice. <laughs> On that note, check out this gem of a find from the new manual of the refreshed Model S and X, 
where it describes the new active noise cancellation feature. It says, you can turn active noise cancellation off or choose to reduce the amount of noise heard only in the front of the rear of the cabin. Wonder if it can isolate and tune out whiny kid noises too. We're splitting them up right here, right now, because I cannot deal with them being this close to each other. This is why we end up with a six seat configuration because they cannot be next to each other. I don't know if you guys have kids and you have the same problem, but they just sit here touching each other and fighting and oh, it's so annoying. Okay, this is happening now because I cannot deal. And technically this is, this is the safest spot. So I, I'm making it happen right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woof, woof. Nosy here and check your sentry mode. To these people. <laughs> so we moved the baby to the center because I could not deal with the boys being by each other. And it is a much better configuration in terms of the boys. But now she cannot sleep in her car seat because she's definitely a little more distracted. <laughs> she's tired right now. Liam. I'm trying to talk. Ah. Ah. I'm good. <laughs> oh, like, leave me alone. <laughs> I have one of you on either side of me. You're so annoying. All right, so after driving around, spending some time in the Model 3 with the three kids, <laughs> um, I definitely wish I could get the upgraded version of the boys. Return them. <laughs> um, no, but it is difficult with all three kids in the Model 3 for sure. It's, I'm not really sure how we're gonna make it work for so long. It's going to be, let's see, it's June now and the car would not be delivered, it says, until January or February. So we listed our car for $85,000 firm. And the reason why we listed it for that is because it does have a minor accident, which you guys saw on there, although we had it fixed really well. Um, so there are absolutely no problems with the car whatsoever. It's in perfect condition. What's interesting though, is that I got a message from some people at Tesla saying that the resale value of specifically Model X's is going for 20% higher than usual right now. And the reason that is, is because you cannot get a Model X right now. Uh, if you want a Model X and you need it now, you have to buy a used Model X. And our car is a great car. Um, that is what people are searching for right now. So I think that's super interesting. So ever since we went to the Rivian event a few years ago, I have seriously been considering the R1S. It is a really great car. This is actually the car my husband wants us to get right now. You can look and see the seven seat configuration. They're also gonna have a five seat configuration. So I wanna play around with this car and kind of take a deeper look at it. Here we go. I can't believe I'm gonna be configuring a Rivian. So here are the two options of packages. We have the adventure package and the explorer package. I would probably do the explorer package and just save that little bit of money. You can see it's also gonna be available in January of 2020. So similar timeline to what we're looking at with the new Model X. But the big difference is the price tag. So either way, it's under $80,000 which is significant, especially if you're in the US because there is talk of the tax credit coming back and it's a $12,000 tax credit. Now Tesla would be capped at $10,000, but the Model X, we would not get any of this tax credit. So I would actually get $12,000 off of this purchase price, which is a pretty big deal. So if we pull down, we can see it's also getting 300 plus miles. This is also really interesting because I think Tesla tends to overestimate the amount of miles that they give you with their cars. And a lot of times you don't get quite as much as it says, where we can already see with the Ford F-150 Lightning that they're taking a different approach where they're underestimating the amount of miles you get. So I really feel like with Rivian, in real world conditions where you're pulling something, um, you have the air conditioning on, all those factors, the temperature, the weather, um, you're gonna be actually getting closer to 300 plus miles. And now if you pull on, the paint colors are great, great options. I love the white. I really love the green, which is what we saw in person. Now imagine that with some kind of wrap on it. All these different wheel and tire options it gives you. With the Model X, we only have the two options 
and we would probably be going with the one that would give us the best range. I always like a darker. So we also have the off-road upgrade options, but I'm also gonna you know, keep in mind that I need to stay below $80,000 because I really wanna get that tax incentive. Due today would be $1,000, where Tesla only requires $100, but it's non-refundable. Let's look at some of our interior options. Definitely white. But here we are, and this is a summary of what I would configure if I'm doing the Rivian here. So you can see I'm just under $80,000, which means I could get the potential $12,000. Let's just take a look over here at Tesla because it's a hard choice to make, guys, because this has always been my car. We started our channel as like Tesla with this car. So can I not do a Model X again? I feel like the Model X has, has been me. There are a lot of new EVs on the market right now. We have the e-tron, we have Lucid, we have Mercedes. All these different cars are coming out, but Model X is what initially got us into luxury EVs in the first place. So I definitely wanna go back to Tesla and look at the new updated Tesla. Um, for us, the long range would be so much more important than the Plaid. The Plaid is super cool and I would love to play around with it. But in our last car, we had ludicrous mode and honestly, we only used it a handful of times. It was to make videos or to show off to friends. It wasn't something I used on a day-to-day -day basis. But the long range would be really important to us because this car gets 360 miles of range, which is about 100 more miles than our P100D had. And at an 80% charge, it would have about 300 miles. So you guys know that when you are charging your car on a road trip, at 80 to 90%, it starts slowing down dramatically. If you're at 90 to 100%, that's gonna take an extra 25 to 30 minutes. And you guys know that um, that time is precious when you have little kids. So having this bigger range, I mean, would be amazing. Range is king when it comes to EVs. So we would definitely go with the long range model. Also, the new Model X has V4 charging capabilities. So you can get about 200 miles of range in only 15 minutes. Um, it also has the heat pump, so it doesn't matter what the temperature outside is anymore. All that is, is not a factor. So one of the main issues would be the price. One of the frustrating things about the Model X is the price tag. So it's over the $80,000, so we can't get the potential tax break there. However, if you own a business in the United States, you can use section 179, and if your car is primarily used for business, you can actually write off part of the purchase price of your car. Again, I'm not here to give you tax advice, but I'm just telling you um, some of the things you could potentially use. So I would go with the 20 inch Cyberstream wheels. Now, I like the look, of these ones a lot better, but you lose some of your range. So again, I would go with these and I would probably get them powder coated um, and make them look black because I just like that look a lot better. So interior, of course, we would go with white. Now, one of the big things I've been looking at is the six versus seven seat. And this is something I'm having a hard time making up my mind. If I only had two kids, it would be a no brainer and I would go with the six, but having the three kids, sometimes it's nice to have an extra seat, but I really like that open layout and I like having that extra space when we go on road trips. So I do think I would probably go with the six seat again. The yoke steering wheel is so cool and it, there are no stocks on it, which is gonna be a little bit crazy adjusting to that. This, this is just gonna be fun. Now we were talking earlier, we were driving around and we were like, wow, I'm not gonna be able to just, you know, set my hand on top of the steering wheel like I'm used to resting. But it has a whole new UI right here and gaming system. The kids are so excited about this. They've been asking for a PS5 and they're so hard to find anywhere. So, you know, why not just buy a whole new Model X for them? Um, but this will be great for road trips in all seriousness. Um, and there's all kinds of new games on here. 
Question though, does anyone know if you will be able to play Fortnite on here? Because my kids really wanna know that question. Now this feature I talked about before, we have the 22 speaker audio. So this has a new microphone enabled with active noise canceling technology. This is super cool. I'm hoping that maybe it will cut out some of the background noise of the kids as well. But regardless, a great feature to have. FSD. This is something also I go back and forth on because we paid for it in both of our other cars and now we're possibly going to be selling those cars. So you, it doesn't transfer with you. So it's like, do you want to spend $10,000 and then potentially not get to use it? However, they have added some things that are part of it now. So like if you want to be able to use summon, auto lane change features, navigate on autopilot, that's all part of FSD. And those are features that we did use in our other Model X. I do think I'm going to go ahead and add, add FSD to this car because I want those features. And I'm hoping that I will actually get to use it and maybe they will give me the beta version, which I still have not been able to try continue to payment. Now you can see it says January, February. There's talk it may be a little bit earlier. Fingers crossed on that. So here we are, $100, non-refundable like I said before. Purchase price is going to be $108,490. So it's an expensive car. Okay, so which car did I pick? Did I pick the R1S or the Model X? And the answer to that question is, Drum roll. Dun -dun -dun. Here we go. The Model X. Of course I had to go with Tesla. You guys know I love Tesla. I'm a huge fan. And after we missed that plaid event, I had the worst FOMO of my life. And I just really wanted the Model X. Plus those Falcon Wing doors. We need those Falcon Wing doors for our tight garage. So I can't wait to get it and make some new videos for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and a final reminder that if you want to support a great cause while getting a chance to win a Peloton Bike Plus bundle with all sorts of goodies, check out charitystars.com slash Kim Java. I get to a fist, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to a less. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to a fist, I got you mad.